How to handle a hamster without being bitten. Hamsters are small, fuzzy rodents that make excellent pets. Many hamsters, particularly the more aggressive dwarf hamsters, are prone to biting. Fortunately, this defense mechanism becomes less powerful the more a hamster becomes comfortable in their space. You will be able to handle your hamster without being bitten if you handle them with care, take the time to acclimate your hamster, and train them not to bite. Handling your hamster. Wash your hands. Before you attempt to pick up your hamster, it is important for you to wash your hands. If your hands smell like food, cosmetics, or anything else scented, your hamster will be much more likely to nibble. Also, by washing your hands before handling them, you will keep your hamster safe from germs. Avoid sneaking up on them. Hamsters will become aggressive whenever they are frightened. You can avoid being bitten by your hamster if you do not startle them. Anytime you are going to handle them, be sure that they can see you coming. Show them your hands and let them smell you before you attempt to pick them up. Lure them into your hand with a treat. If you reach right into your hamster's cage and grab them, this will likely make them defensive. Instead, entice your hamster to come to you. Hold out a treat, such as a sunflower seed, and allow your hamster to come and take it. With a second treat, lure your hamster to walk onto the open palm of your other hand. Then lift them out of the cage. Hamsters have poor eyesight, so avoid holding treats between your fingers. If you do this, the hamster may mistakenly bite your finger instead of the food. Hold them with both hands. In order to keep your hamster calm, you must hold him properly. Hold him in one hand with your fingers gently curled under his belly. Your other hand should be supporting his bottom. When you pick up your hamster, always use both hands. Use a scoop to transfer them. Hamsters will become especially defensive when you snatch them out of their cages. You can prevent them biting you by using a scoop to remove them from their cages, instead of your hand. This is particularly useful for any time you must move them quickly. You can purchase a scoop from a pet store, or cut a 2-liter bottle in half to make a DIY scoop. <laughs>